This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone in the place again, you know? Big up on yourself. Alright, so this morning guys, it occurred to me that the 2021 staging of the CPL is just around the corner. The tournament actually gets underway on the 23rd of August. And I know this is a tournament that a lot of persons will be paying attention to. You know, especially to see if we can find a couple of youngsters to bring into the T20 squad going into the World Cup. So I am for this video, I'm just going to go through all six squads, take a look at some of the players that are expected to really perform well, take a look at some of the young players that are coming in that will be presented with the opportunity to go out there and say, hear what, I might be 19, 20 coming through, but I am definitely ready for the professional world of cricket. So we're going to be zooming in on each team. So just spend some time with, my, with me, my viewers and subscribers and make we go on. Look on the thing, you understand? Alright, so we're going to be starting off with my, my team, or the Jamaica Talawas, right? And as I would have indicated a couple of weeks ago when we were looking at the teams, you know, I, I am not definitely impressed. Well, I, I am not overly impressed with the squad that we would have assembled. But, you know, I just, it is what it is. We just have to work with it. Alright, so for the Jamaica Talawas, we have Andre Russell and Shakib Al Hassan. Right, those are two big T20 names, two gentlemen that would have been playing the thing for quite some time. They would have been very successful at the franchise level. You know, we all know J. Russell and his power didn't fire last year, so we're hope, hoping that you know this year he will be able to go out there and, and, and you know perform well for us. It's a strong possibility that this might be his last se um, season with the franchise. We remember all of what went down last year with the Halabalu back and forth with the Jamaica Talawa. I, 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 am, I was even thinking that he wasn't going to play for us this season, but he's there, so let us hope he will get off. Shakib, well, the, the name speaks for, for itself. We don't even have to talk about him too much. And next we have Ravman Powell and Carlos Brathwaite. Remember the name, you know, since that big... Uh, you know, game that he had for us in the T20 World Cup. We haven't really heard much of Carlos Brathwaite. Think he he he, he's, uh, he was actually in the in the in the in the um, T20 tournament over there in the in, in England the other day. Was doing pretty well. So you know, we are definitely hoping that he will come and um, you know play a good a good tournament for us. So Brathwaite is there. Ravman Powell, who will be captain in the team. You know, he he hasn't really. Hasn't really proven himself that much in, in, in recent times. So he's also going to be on the micro, underneath the microscope. I hear a couple of people asking the other day why isn't he a part of the West Indies squad. In my opinion, he still needs to do some work. Still has a, long, a lot of things that he needs to get right before he can be a permanent fixture in that West Indies team. Alright, we also have Adir Ali. You know who is a Pakistani batsman and will be expected to come into the team bring some amount of professionalism will be expected to score some runs for us and we have the the the, the overly loved Chadwick Walton yeah man who can forget that uh that brilliant uh you know you could call it matchup between him and Keswick Williams where Keswick Williams got him out went ahead and you know did that thing where like he's writing in a notebook and you know the next time when he and 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 walton buck up again walton really took him to the cleaners every four or six that he got off walton he took out an imaginary book and wrote it down so we are we are hoping to see um a good tragic walton this season again uh the ever young and ever fresh fidel edwards he is also in the team and will be expected to spearhead our bowling unit or our bowling attack so Fidel Edwards is there um, we all know Edwards don't even have to talk about him too much so he's definitely going to be expected to do some work for us we have Ahmed uh, who is a young Afghanistan leg spinner he will be expected to come in to do some work for us with the ball also he's able to do a little bit of batting so he will definitely um, add to the value of the team we also have Jason Mohammed. 
the man, the myth, the legend from out of Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, man, he 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 will be coming into the team, maybe batting at number three, four if he gets into the final level. Will be expected to um, do some 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 groundwork for us. He will be expected to be the man that the team will bat around. So let us see what Jason Mohamed will do. All right, rounding off the rest of the squad, we have Miguel Pretorius, who is a uh, all runner from from South Africa. We also have Kenar Lewis. We have Ibrahim, who is from um, Afghanistan. He's a opener I gather. We have Versamy Permal, Man Singh. We also have Joshua James. We have Kurt McKenzie and Ryan Prasad. So those are the guys that will be expected to come together and really see how far they can take the Jamaica Talawas into the competition. So let me know what you think about the Jamaica Talawas squad. Moving right ahead to the St. Lucia Zooks. Yeah man, kicking off the list. And what I didn't remember to tell you guys, a couple of the players that are already um, drafted, you know, I think they are going to be pulling out. Um, Hasaranga is one of them that I, I gather um, is already pulling out, uh, you know, because he wants to, to represent Sri Lanka, so he is going to be pulling out. Uh, so St. Lucia Zooks, we have Fat Duplicy, we have Kimo Paul, another man that a lot of persons think have something to prove. You know, you know, a lot of persons saying that it is time for him to be in the West in this team. So let us see how good of a CPL tournament he will have. We have uh, Wahab Riaz. We all know him as a, as a pacer from Pakistan. We have Matthew Wade from Australia. Not sure if he's going to be withdrawn. We have Fletcher, you know, who will be auditioning for that opening spot for the West Indies in the in the T20 World Cup. So he's going to be expected. He's going to he's going to be looking to get to have a good CPL um, campaign. We also have uh, Kesrick Williams, a man that has basically you know slide down the, the, the pecking order recently. We have Usman Kadir, a uh, leg spinner, and we have Sami Patel, who is a good, a powerful middle order batsman from England, so he's there also. And we have Obed McCoy, a man that a lot of the Caribbean faithful would have fell in love with over the past couple of months. So Obed McCoy is there. We also have the big Cornwall, Rakim Cornwall, yeah man. Yeah, man that hits the ball very cleanly when playing for St. Lucia Zook. So he's there also. We have Mark Dial, a left hand a batsman who bowls some half break. We have Rastan Chase, another senior player in the St. Lucia's dressing room. room. We have Javar Glenn. Uh, we have Katoy. We have Javar Royal. And rounding off the list, we have Kadim, who is a batsman coming in from Barbados, a youngster. And last but not least, we have Mr. Alzari Joseph. Yeah, man, man that fancy himself to be a, a, a all rounder. So the CPL will definitely be a good stage for him to go out and show that here what I am no longer an express space bowler, but I also bowl and um, but I also bat. So Alzari Joseph rounding off. The, the, the St. Lucia Zook squad so as per usual guys let me know what you think down in the comment section about this squad um, do you all think that Mr. 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 Um, Fletcher especially will go out there and light up the CPL alright so for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots now guys this is a franchise that I you know over the years they haven't been very successful but in my opinion they have actually put together one of the strongest squads in the that is expected to take part in the tournament I, I am figuring that they, they might go all the way this this year you know Trinidad will definitely be very difficult to beat but this St. Lucia squad on paper and when I say this guys I know that they will all have to go out there and perform but on paper this is a pretty good St. Lucia, um, sorry, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots team. So we're talking about DJ Bravo, the man that I personally think is the best T20 brain in the Caribbean when it comes on to, to strategy. So DJ Bravo is there. Uh, we have Christopher Henry Gale. We all know how powerful Mr. Henry Gale is. Uh, another man that will definitely want to return to the top of the order for West Indies in that T20 World Cup so you will be expected to have a good tournament for St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots uh, we have Evan Lewis the man that you know you can say he is the he is the he is the, the cemented one where West Indies top order is concerned 
in T20 and ODI. You know, the debate has been going on for some time now that it is time for him to step up and play all three formats. So West Indies. So let us see what he will do in this um, CPL here if he will get into some good form in order to get things together for that World Cup that is coming up. So Lewis is there, Fabian Allen, another man that strikes the ball pretty well, bowl some good left arm um, spin. So that, 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 that already right there, you know, my viewers and subscribers, is a big part of the West Indies T20 team, you know. Bravo, Gail, Lewis, Fabian, Allen. So let us see. We also have Rossi van der Dusen from South Africa. Not sure if he will be participating still or he will be, he will be withdrawing, but we all saw how well he performed against us in that tournament the other day. So he's there. We have Anik, Anik Nakia, who is expected to really step up to the plate and do some work. We have um, Sheffrin Rutherford, another youngster that, you know, a lot of persons think should be in that West Indies team. Once again, you know, once a man is performing in certain, in franchise cricket or do a little work in regional cricket, a lot of us think that they should be in the final 11 for West Indies. So Rutherford will definitely need to grab this opportunity to show that here what I am, I am ready. So Rutherford is there also. Sheldon Cottrell. The pacer that will definitely be looking to spearhead that St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots um, bowling lineup. You know, he will want to cement his, play, his space in the West Indies team and will be auditioning, starting his audition to see if he can get back an IPL contract. So, CPL will be a good way to start that. Hasaranga, I heard some news yesterday, yesterday that Hasaranga will be pulling out of the CPL due to commitment for Sri Lanka and I can't knock a man for that you know I can't knock a man for that you 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 get drafted yes for a franchise you say all right you give him a commitment but at the end of the day when it when you when a country come um comes knocking then it is what it is you understand uh we also have Emirat Red Emirat that is from Trinidad and Tobago another another um genius when it comes on to 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 dead bowling well, he's not as strong as he was a couple of years ago, but he will definitely look to feature. Uh, we also have Devon Thomas, good little regional cricketer. Uh, we have um, Jagasar, yeah, yeah, man, another, another player that will definitely be looking to come to the forefront. And just to, just to, 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 to finish it off, guys, we have um, Colin Archibald, we have da, um, Dominic Drakes, we have Joshua De Silva, who is our test wicket keeper. And we have another player by the name of Ramanula um, who will be expected to come in and do some work for them. Alright, so that is the St. Kitts and, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. So let me know what you think about that team. Alright, going straight down to the Barbados Tridents who recently have a name change. So, yeah man, they, 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 they have put together a reasonably good uh, squad. Let us take a look at it. We have Chris Morrison, South African that really really good when i tell you about a clean hit off the ball he's a very good good hit off the ball we have jason holder we have tessera Pereira from sri lanka another good professional we have mohammed amir the pace the express pace from from um, pakistan so he will be looking to do some work also a man that it's it's really sad to see how he how his career would have gone we all know that what happened back then with amir simon but and a couple more of the of the Pakistanis don't need to get into that but it would be it would be nice to if if he turns up uh, once again guys we know that some of these guys would have committed early but based on the, the fact that fixtures would have put off and you know things get in clash we are not sure how many of these guys will will turn up uh we have Josh um Johnson Charles another Westin farmer West this opener you know that a lot of people will 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 be looking forward to, to see you know um that that West Indies opening slot for the T20 World Cup he can definitely go out there and challenge for it so he's there we have Shea Hope um he will be looking to play a couple of classy innings maybe notch up a couple of century to put his hand in the mix we have Oshane Thomas definitely coming back working his way back to 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 his best still not looking as sharp as we would have wanted wanted the other day so let us see how he goes in the cpl kyle myers 
a man that is in that West Indies test team that a lot of persons think needs to get an opportunity in the white ball in white ball cricket um so he's there also uh let us let us hold on as as i am going through this guys i, I don't remember calling jermaine blackwood's name when i was doing the tala was um the tala was list i have to check that man all right so yeah man continuing myers is there we have hayden wash jr who has been very good over the last couple of weeks for west indies we have um azam khan we have reefer justin greaves we have Ashley Nurse. Um, we also have, uh, let me see, Naeem Young. We have Joshua Bishop, who is a left arm spinner. Uh, we have Shak uh, another another um, Afghanistan left arm um, left 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 arm bowler. Ah, uh, well, leg break bowler. You know, we, his name is Gafari. I think it is. Though, guys, you don't know, so you must forgive me when I butcher a couple of the name them right. So that is what the the. Barbados um, team looks like our squad looks like my viewers and subscribers are moving right ahead to the to the defending champions two time defending champions them say Trinidad and Tobago Knight Riders once again a very good team a very good squad they will be expected to go all the way or to push St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots in my opinion and this is not me being disrespectful to the other franchise guys so please nobody with the foolishness I beg you know right this is just prediction so I, I am predicting from now that you know the, the it will go all the way between Trinidad and and um uh, Saint Kitts and Nevis Patriots. So we're talking about West Indies white ball captain Pollard. Uh, we have Ravi Rampal, Narayan, Colin Monroe. Don't need to spend a lot of time giving out too much information about these guys because most of them well known. We have um Lamashani, not a good uh spinner that sandeep lamashani we have darren bravo who usually performs very well for for, for his home 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 country uh we have lendl simmons we have kaiwe pierre we have udana we also have a representative from zimbabwe who is sikanda raza and he is a batsman that will be expected to do some work for the trinidad and tobago night riders right and we have the anderson philip who is a pace bowler, you know, coming into his own now, will be expected to, to perform very well for them. Uh, I, ge I gather he will be working alongside Ravi Rampal. Uh, we have Dinesh Ramdin, who is returning from St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, will be taking up his position behind the wickets and will be expected to get some runs, you know, further down the order there. Tian Webster, another youngster coming through from Trinidad and Tobago all-rounder. Akil Hussein, uh, the little spinner played very well for the West Indies the other day. Will be expected to do some work for them uh, for Trinidad and Tobago. We have Jaden Sears, we have Leonardo um, Julian, and rounding off the list, we have Ali Khan. So, very good team and, and um, squad and paper, my viewers and subscribers for Trinidad and Tobago Night Riders. Once again, they will be expected to do some work. You understand? So, we're not going to drink them. So let us move right along to the final team um, on the list here, which is the Guyana Amazon Warriors. And they have actually put together a nice little unit also. Nicholas Puran, he's there, our, our, our West Indies white ball vice captain. Well, for the other day, we have Malik, a uh, seasoned campaigner for, for Pakistan. We have Imran Tayer. The, the very busy spinner from South Africa. You, you don't know when they money take wicket already, you know, pure celebration. So Hetmaya is also there. Shemran Hetmaya will be looking to lead this batting unit. He will be looking to boss up things. Mohamed Afiz, a very seasoned campaigner uh, for Pakistan. We, we all saw what he did to the West Indies the other day. Four overs, six runs. I'll know it hurt me, my viewers and subscribers. So he will be looking to, to, to do that for Guyana Amazon Warriors. Brandon King, another youngster that a lot of people think should be in the West Indies team, you know, to, to play that gelling role. So let us see if he will have a good season this, this year. Uh, also, we have um, Na, uh, Naveem Old Hack. So he's there. Also, we have Shepard, Romario Shepard, um, a little uh, all rounder that would have gotten the opportunity to play for West Indies recently. So he will be returning to the CPL with some international experience. Uh, we also have 
Wakar, um, Wakar, who is coming from Afghanistan, a little, I think he's a, he's a, um, he's a left arm spinner and will be looking to do some work for the Guyana Amazon Warriors. We have Shanda Paul Hemraj, you know, another youngster that, you know, is doing very well at the regional level. You know, one would think that he, he, he definitely needs to put in some more work to see if he can break through at the international level. Odin Smith, we all know what he's capable of. Niall Smith, another young pace bowler coming through. We'll be looking to do some work for them. We also have Goody, uh, Monty. Yeah, man, Monty, another spinner that a lot of persons, you know, say he's right up there with Akil Hussein and, and Hayden Wash Jr. So he will be looking to prove his worth. That is Monty. Right? And Kevin Sinclair and Ashmead Ned. Two more young spinners that are definitely going to want to prove their worth. So let us let us keep our fingers crossed that will be that this will be a good um, CPL, especially for the youngsters. Now we already know some of the older man them already in and know what they are capable of. So we are definitely hoping that we will unearth some young talents in this year's CPL. But this is what the team look like, um, the squads look like, my viewers and subscribers. As I said, the 23rd of August, things will get going. So I just wanted to spend some time and go through the teams in detail. So as per usual, just go down there in the comment section and let me know what you think about the squad, my viewers and subscribers. Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment, guys. And also remember to subscribe to the channel for more content. Zane, big up on yourself. I'm out.